Hello everyone. Let's discuss the concept of hysteresis and eddy current losses and BH curve. So first I would like to discuss the concept of BH curve. Later we will define what is hysteresis and eddy current loss. So we all know that any magnetic material if you consider that magnetic material should consist of what? Magnetic domains. So because of this alignment of those magnetic domains we will describe the concept of BH curve. So for that I would like to consider three magnetic materials and the alignment of magnetic dipoles. This will gives the information regarding the concept of BH curve. So in the first case the magnetic dipole let us say this is one of the magnetic dipole the orientation of magnetic dipole is in zigzag manner or you can say in random <coughs> manner sorry So this is the alignment of <coughs> magnetic domains in a magnetic material. So, so because of this alignment which is nothing but these magnetic dipoles are the carriers of flux. So because of these dipoles flux is produced in the core because of this nothing but magnetic dipole so let us say in this case what will happen in general all domains are oriented randomly which are present irregularly distributed within the material so in different directions you can write that point all domains are oriented randomly or irregularly distributed irregularly distributed within the material So obviously what will happen these are the carriers of flux. So the flux which is carried by one domain is cancelled by other domain because they are irregularly arranged. Obviously what will happen because of that the flux which is produced by this domain is cancelled by this do domain. So obviously what will happen so the net flux or you can say you can write that point. So, flux carried by one domain cancelled by another domain. What will happen then? So, the net flux carried is 0. So, the net flux carried is 0 which is nothing but the material is not magnetized this is the case not magnetized earlier means no external magnetic field no external magnetic. So, we do not have any external magnetic field. So, in that case 
the domains which are present in that magnetic field which are arranged in irregular way so because of that uh, random distributed arrangement of domains what will happen the flags which is carried by one domain should be cancelled by another domain so obviously what will happen to the net flux which is equals to zero so this is the case in which we don't have any external magnetic field no magnetic field so in this case what will happen the strength of the magnetic field or the strength of the domains which is equal to 0 h which is equal to 0 h is nothing but magnetic field intensity which is nothing but magnetic field strength so in this case h is equal to 0 so this is the case when there is no external magnetic field is applied now i am going to explain the second case now we are going to provide the external magnetic field for the domains So what will happen when we provide the external magnetic field or you can say when the core is magnetized. So now we are providing the external magnetic field. So when the core is magnetized for the first time. what will happen all the domains because all the domains are aligned in one direction why they are aligned in one direction because of that external magnetic field and flux carried by one domain added to flux carried by another domain. So obviously what will happen because of that external magnetic field all the domains which are arranged in aligned manner therefore the flux which is carried by one domain should be equally added by another domain so the net flux is increases so the net flux is increases therefore So, this is one domain. So, they are aligned in a regular manner. So, in this way, they are aligned because of that external magnetic field. So, application of external magnetic field therefore what will happen to field strength which is equals to positive and net flux which is equals to positive we are having net flux right so this is the another case so when the core is magnetized for the first time what will happen all the domains which are present in that magnetic material should align in a regular manner so because of that the flux which is carried by one domain should be added to the flux which is carried by another domain so the net flux increases obviously what will happen to magnetic field strength which is positive which is more than zero so this is second case so the, we have, the process is there no what is the process the process to provide the external magnetic field is nothing but magnetostriction so this is the tendency of a magnetic material to change 
in its dimension when the core is subject to magnetic stress is nothing but magnetic or magnetostriction. So previously there is no external magnetic field but in the second case magnetostriction. What is the magnetostriction? This is the tendency of a magnetic material to change in its dimensions when the core is subjected to magnetic stress. is nothing but magnetostriction. So, this is natural phenomena. Okay. So, this is the concept of external magnetic field and magnetostriction. Now, what we observe when h is equal to 0, all the domains are free, right? So, initially there is no net flux means there is no mag the, there is no magnetizing effect of core. So, when there is a pro uh, provision of magnetic field, what will happen? The all the magnetic domains which are present in the magnetic material are equally aligned and the net flux is increases. So, if the core is magnetized again if the core is magnetized further if the core is magnetized further or you can say already magnetized earlier then what will happen the magnetization process is slower in red state. So, then the magnetization process is slower in further stage because why? What is the reason? Because we are dealing with the core, magnetic core. This is the combination of magnetic domains. So, if we, if we keep on increase the magnetic, external magnetic field, what will happen? At one particular stage, the core is gets saturated. At the core, at that stage, the core is gets saturated. So, what will happen? Then, the magnetization process is slower. Uh, this is called magnetic saturation. So, what is saturation? For every activity, there is a saturation point. If we keep on increasing that magnetization, obviously, at one particular point, the core gets saturated. Then what will happen? The magnetization process is slower in further stage. This condition is called magnetic saturation of core. So, then what will happen? Obviously, we have to decrease that magnetization or external magnetic field. So, because of that excessive magnetic mag magnetization, the core gets saturated. Then now we have to decrease that magnetization force that is when magnetization force is reduced.
from maximum value to zero previously it is zero then we have increased the magnetization force it reaches to maximum then the core gets saturated now we have to decrease that magnetization force from maximum values to zero means if you consider this is h we have discussed when h is equal to zero gradually we have increased the magnetization force we have reached this point then the core gets saturated now we have to decrease that force now we have to discuss this portion so when the magnetization force is reduced for maximum values to zero value maximum values to zero value what will happen okay so when the magnetization force is reduced from maximum values to zero all the domains become becomes free why they are free because we have decreased the magnetization force obviously what will happen they are free and flux in the core decreases and this is called demagnetization and this process is called demagnetization so this is what this portion is nothing but this portion is there no that is nothing but magnetization and from maximum to zero this portion is right this portion is nothing but demagnetization so this is the concept of magnetization demagnetization then what is the rate of change during magnetization and during demagnetization but demagnetization takes place at a slower rate takes place at a slower rate compared to magnetization the rate of change during magnetization is more but coming to demagnetization the rate of change is very less compared to magnetization because what is the reason reason this is very important reason what is the reason now during demagnetization the domains tends to the magnetic dipoles are domains tends to align previous direction so during demagnetization the magnetic domains which are present in the magnetic material tends to align previous direction so obviously what will happen the rate of change is very slower rate compared to magnetization so tends to align previous direction even the magnetic force is reduced to zero even the even though the magnetic force is reduced to zero but the rate of change is very slow compared to magnetization
so this is called magnetic inertia this is called magnetic inertia now we have terms magnetic inertia and so next point is what will happen so even the magnetization force is reduced to zero the domains may not become completely free so so these domains contribute flux even though there is no magnetization force of course compared to magnetization during demagnetization the domains which are present in the magnetic materials are becomes free but they are not completely free so because of that what will happen there is a flux in the core there is a flux in the core so that flux is nothing but residual flux that flux is nothing but residual flux this is very most important point so let's write that point mm, yeah right even the magnetization even the magnetization force is reduced to zero what will happen the domains becomes free in magnetic material but they are not completely free this is very important point but they are not completely free so these domains obviously what will happen so these domains because of those velocity obviously what will happen we are going to get some flux so these domains contribute some flux even though there is no magnetization force this flux is called very important one residual flux this flux is called residual flux or you can say retentive flux that's why for every practical machine is having residual flux that's why every practical machine is having residual flux this is the concept of magnetization demagnetization magnetic inertia magnetostriction residual flux now we have to discuss the concept of bh curve this is the ground part of the concept that is magnetization demagnetization now we have to discuss the concept of bh curve so first i would like to discuss for ideal case means what ideal machine so we have to draw between this is what b minus b h we all know that at this point the value should be equals to h value should be equals to zero right means what there is no external magnetic force at this point so means what all the domains which are present in magnetic material are free in nature that's why there is no net flux or you can say b or magnetic flux or flux this is h or magnetizing current because it deals with current right mm. then 
so starting from this part for ideal case this is linear 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 then coming to practical or magnetizing current but coming to practical machines what is the graph during no magnetizing force it starts from zero that is net flux is zero right gradually it is increases some point right let us say this point this point this is nothing but p max this is what h max so this is practical case this is practical but after some if, if we keep on increasing the magnetizing force what will happen the core gets saturated the core get this is nothing but saturation then what we have now we did we have to decrease the magnetizing force from maximum values to this b max to zero right now we starts decreasing but during demagnetization because of that the slower rate during demagnetization some magnetic domains are ready to produce some flux right this is nothing but this part is there no this is nothing but phi uh, residual flux residual flux so it starts decreasing like this in reverse direction right again like this this is what minus h max this is what minus b max now we have clear that this is h is equals to zero there is no external force gradually we have to increase from this position to b max then we have to decrease that magnetizing force from maximum values to zero but due to magnetic inertia the machine is having some residual flux this is the point of that flux position this is nothing but residual flux this force is there no that is nothing but residual flux so it starts decreases from this point to zero right again it starts increases in reverse direction it starts increases in reverse direction so this region is nothing but like that again it starts increasing this is nothing but bh curve like that so this portion and this portion is nothing but this is plus h see this is minus h c right this is residual flux and this is h c so what is this h c and what is this positive h c is nothing but cohesivity cohesivity is nothing but what so in order to from this position to this position this position this position to this position the core is not completely demagnetized right because of that slower rate we are having some flux but in order to decrease or in order to get zero flux the core gets demagnetized further the, uh, for that purpose we have to provide some force that force is nothing but cohesive force 
from this position to this position from this position to from here to here to get the demagnetized core from this point to this point or you can get to get demagnetized core from this point to this point sorry from this point to this point obviously have what will have we have some cohesive force that course that force is nothing but cohesive force and can write that point in order to completely demagnetize the core a small magnetizing force is a small magnetizing force should be applied in opposite direction that force is nothing but what force that force is nothing but or cohesivity so this is nothing but whether in reverse direction or positive direction like that after getting zero it starts increasing in reverse direction it start in increasing from this point to from this point to this point again from this point to this point again from this point to this point and the cycle continues this is magnetization so this is magnetization in reverse process let's have and one more important point retentivity cohesivity retentivity what is retentivity retentivity is the process or property is it's not process it's property of an magnetic material due to which it retains some flux even though magnetizing force is zero this is the concept of retentivity and uh, cohesivity so this is the complete uh, analysis of bh curve it's a complete analysis of bh curve so because of this process complete magnetizing force which is applied is not completely used to magnetize the core right see from this position to from this point to this point magnetization so we have reached the saturation point of the core so uh, after that obviously what do we have to do we have to decrease the magnetization force so so that when we start decreasing the magnetization force the demagnetization the process is nothing but demagnetization the compared to the process rate due to magnetizing force the slower rate of magnetizing force is going to get during demagnetization so 
because of this process complete magnetizing force which is applied is not completely used to magnetize the core some amount of force is wasted to bring the residual flux to zero that wastage is nothing but hysteresis loss so this is very important point so because of this process complete magnetizing force which is applied is not completely used to magnetize the core what will happen some amount of force is wasted to bring the residual flux to zero so because power loss takes place in core that is power consume by the coercive force is called hysteresis loss so this loss is nothing but hysteresis loss so simply what is hysteresis loss when the core of the machine subjected to alternating flux the magnetic reversals of the core takes place that is when in the core of the machine subjected to alternating flux magnetic reversals takes place which causes losses in the core of the machine that losses are called hysteresis losses so this is the complete concept of bh curve and the concept of hysteresis loss now i would like to discuss the concept of eddy current loss so what is eddy current loss eddy current losses are due to production of eddy currents in the core of a machine so that is due to conduction there is a eddy current loss due to conduction there is a eddy current loss 
so the emf induced in the transformer or any machine core is due to flux reversals in the core causes the eddy currents to flow right so let us say eddy current which is proportion to the conductivity of the core which is nothing but conductivity of the core that is more conductivity of the core more eddy current loss so eddy currents in the core is due to what conductivity of that core if the conductivity is more obviously we are going to get the more eddy current losses so this is the concept of eddy current and hysteresis loss we will discuss in detail what is hysteresis and what is eddy current loss the in depth analysis we have to discuss while we have the discussion of the transformer concept but this is the basic introduction of that eddy current and hysteresis loss along with that bh curve thank you